this huge bag of Halloween candy and I saw Kim over on the Wad Squad YouTube channel make some peanut butter cookies. So Everett's gonna go through here and find us any sort of Reese's peanut butter cups. And we are gonna make these outrageous Reese's pretzel peanut butter cookies. Okay, There's pop. even better if there are two in there. Put anything Reese's in this bowl, okay? You go through. And of course, Luna has to come investigate, but no chocolate or candy for kitties. We got kitty treats for you, though. Yeah. We got some kitty treats for you. While Everett works on sorting the candy, I am going to get started by putting two sticks of butter into the mixer. And it's fine if it's, this tastes a little bit. That's fine. Everett took his job of sorting the candy very seriously. He did such an awesome job finding all the Reese's. In the meantime, I got out the sugar and added the white sugar and the brown sugar. And of course, just like pretty much every other <laughs> cooking video I feel like I do lately, I ran out of something. This was the very last of the brown sugar, so we will be refilling that. Uh, it sounded like a drum when we hit on it, so we were trying that out. Mark and the older boys were gone for an activity, so I decided that for one-on-one -on -one time with Everett, we would do a baking project, and it turned out to be really fun. We really enjoyed ourselves, and anytime there's candy and sugar involved, Everett enjoys that even more. Gotta put all the candy away before he gets a tummy ache over here eating it all while I'm making the cookies. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pour them out, because that's, you're gonna put the Reese's in here and the trash in there, okay? And I am going to use my cool Pampered Chef measuring cup to do the peanut butter. This is the perfect one to use for anything like peanut butter or yogurt or something, because you fill it up to the line, and then you push it out. All right, watch how satisfying this is. You just go broop, and it comes out. And then we go like this. Broop. <laughs> it's all really clean. You just have to wash the bottom off. Not sure we're gonna have any uh, Reese's left. Everett's taking a bite out of each of them. One. Okay, he just took, he ate one and took a bite of one. No more. Okay. I just thought it was a, a triple doctor one. Still okay. I very rarely measure vanilla. It just seems like too much work. Next up, flour. How's it going over there? Good. Guys, this is a normal one. That's a big one. Just a normal one. Yeah. Okay, put it in the bowl. But this one's a new one. How much salt? One teaspoon. Looks like we need to restock on baking soda. Baking powder. Next up, we're gonna add the mix-ins, which include some pretzels, some peanuts. It calls for uh, Reese's Pieces, but we didn't get any of those in our Halloween candy, and I'm not about to go buy any more candy with so much candy in the house. Um, chocolate chips, we could put those. Oh, let's keep this one. Nope, we need that one. Put it in here. We need it. Oh. Everett and I were thinking about maybe adding eyeballs to these because I have some little eyeballs that we never used at Halloween and it would be cute to call these 
peanut butter monster cookies. I'm gonna do all the mix-ins by hand. I don't wanna, sometimes when you have big chunky things, it doesn't mix well with a mixer. Okay, gonna let Everett do some chopping on these peanut butter cups. Line them up. Here's your, oh, you're gonna line them up? Okay. No, this gets them flat. Here's your knife. I'm gonna see how much One and three fourths cup pretzels. How do you measure out pretzels? It's kind of tricky. Okay, there's one cup. There's three fourths of another cup. I'm gonna break them up now. You gotta do that. That is that is fine. Can you crush them? You're allowed to break things, that's fun. Only food. Okay, and then we'll put a little bit of peanuts, maybe? Yes, oh. no? Yes. Okay. No, a little more flavor. A little more flavor, a little more crunch? Yeah, a little crunch. Okay, I'm gonna put these pretzels in. Actually, I'm gonna keep breaking them a little bit. Pretzels. But I need the small, so they aren't really a big thing. Okay, we need these kind of chopped. Maybe might need my big knife for that. Yeah, I can try. I'm gonna try one. Okay, you can try. Okay. You work on your peanut butter cups first, and then I'll. I'm gonna get some chocolate chips. I want to try if I can do it. I can cut it! You did it? Yeah. Good job. But I'm not done with all my peanut butter. Sometimes on the thumbs up, it makes more peanut butter. That's actually fine. That's fine. So I'll be sure. See? Ooh, yeah, let's not do that. That'll make a big mess. No, 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 no. That's just make, turning them into rockets. Okay, I'm gonna add these peanut butter That's cups. That's the only way I can. Okay, I'll can do, do it with my sharp knife. You gotta keep working on these. Yeah. I'll put these in. <sighs> I like that noise. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> satisfying. Satisfying chopping up the peanuts. Do it. The two of them are crushed. What? Let me do something. Oh, you could try it that way, yeah. Just make them like more into dust. You could do it, try it my way too, where you just do do rock it. I'm gonna try it. Come on. Okay. Okay. It takes a second. This is it. We gotta. I'm gonna stir it in, and then we're gonna do a taste test. Okay. Oh, one more. <laughs> you stuck it in the wrong thing. <laughs> You're supposed to stick it in the bowl, not your mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do, catch all of these. Okay, you ready to taste test? Yeah. Oops. Here. Mm. Lots, would, of, lots of peanut butter. It would be better if it did have the chocolate chips. Those pretzels are okay. The top. Oh, the top. All right, the top. these look amazing. Oop! Let's not. They almost slid onto the floor. No, okay, the let's counter. Do one more. Almost slid on the, the counter. counter. You're right. Yeah. Here, let's it make one more go set. That far. 
I couldn't go this. I know, but they still would have been a sticky mess. Yeah. Ooh, that one's gigantic. That could be the biggest cookie in the world. Yeah. What would Cookie Monster say about the biggest cookie in the world? Um, nom, 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 nom. Might be a little bigger. So I think these are from Michael's. I think I bought them last year and then we never used them for anything. But honestly, adding eyes to any sort of food just makes them more fun. Let's use the scissors so it doesn't go flying. Yeah, but we need to see if it tastes good first. You're gonna taste test an eyeball? It's not real. Ew. It's not real. Hard, crunchy. Mm, good. Like it? Let me put some eyes on. Cyclops. I will put the link to this recipe in the description below. I left out a few of the things that they said because I didn't have them, but really they turned out so good with just the pretzels, peanuts, chocolate chips, and the peanut butter cups. All right, these are cute. They've got eyeballs. And the other ones don't. Okay, while they bake, we will clean up. <laughs> when I first started having the kids in the kitchen with me, it sometimes felt overwhelming, but now it is one of my greatest joys to have them cook with me and learn about being in the kitchen. I want to look at the eyes. Looks pretty good. All right, I think the eyes, don't touch these though, they're very hot. I think the eyes look great before. Okay, there's the eyeball ones. They sure are cute with all that little pretzels and stuff sticking out. And then here's the plain ones. Ooh, these set up beautifully after sitting. They sat for about another eight minutes on this on the trays, and now they're perfect. How cute are those? I have decided pretzels are amazing in cookies. The boys got home from their activity just as the cookies were coming out of the oven. I'm not sure that there's anything better than coming home to a house that smells like fresh baked cookies. Uh, I love that the boys gather around and we chat and I got to hear about their activities while I finished working on these cookies. And FYI, if you are a big peanut butter and chocolate fan, those cookies that Everett and I made were outrageous they were that's the name of them outrageous it's because they're so good if you love peanut butter and chocolate the pretzels in it oh my gosh took it over the top so try that recipe we love you we're grateful for you and we'll see you again real soon for more of this alaska life